Rock Dog is the first animated movie in quite a long time that I have been so unimpressed with. This movie is about a mastiff in a Tibetan village who wants to become a musician. But his dad, who is the guard of the village and protects the village from wolves, wants the main character Bodhi to become the next guard after his dad is gone. There's two different plots here. There's the A plot with Bodhi wanting to become a musician, and then the B plot where the wolves are trying to capture him so they can figure out how to get past the guards at the sheep village. But that plot isn't really anything special, it's more the A plot that's a lot more interesting. Bodhi goes to this famous musician's mansion called Angus Scattergood. And after Angus tries to get rid of him, he actually decides to mentor Bodhi a bit. But it's really because Angus has this really bad artist block at the moment. Oh yeah, and there's another side plot where uh, Bodhi is meeting this band in the rock and roll park. And Bodhi's been saying he's been hanging with Angus Scattergood, but they don't believe him, and that's a whole nother thing. The movie is trying to say something about following your passions or whatever. And this movie is based off of a novel called The Tibetan Rock Dog, I believe. But the movie itself is so bland that I don't even think I can call it bad. But I don't think I can call it good or okay either. It's just so incredibly lackluster. And I think one of the reasons for that is the animation itself. There are points in this movie where it rains, uh, multiple times. And when it rains, the fur on the characters... nothing happens. Maybe it's just because I've been spoiled in other movies, like Zootopia last year, to where I expect a lot more effort to go into the animation. But in this, you can point out the copy and paste models right from the beginning. And the funny thing is, is that in the beginning, it actually starts off with a 2D prologue. And that 2D animation is miles more interesting than the CG. And what's really funny about this movie is that it has a lot of elements we've seen from movies last year. Around the Tibetan village, and especially with the character of Bodhi's dad, it has a lot of feeling of Kung Fu Panda. Then in the city, it feels a lot like it's trying to be Zootopia. And then with the rock music stuff, that's Sing. But just imagine all of those movies swirled together to make a really mediocre mess. This was one of the animated movies this year that I wasn't really looking forward to, but it did have a few interesting names attached to it. It has Sam Elliott, it has Louis Black, J.K. Simmons, Eddie Izzard, even Kenan Thompson voices one of the wolves. But they don't save it from just how bland this film is. And supposedly this was animated by Real Effects, the same people who made Book of Life. But they weren't listed in the beginning credits. And even right now, under the wiki page, under the production companies, I don't see them listed. And I find that very odd that an animation studio isn't in the beginning credits of an animated film. This is a Chinese US production, so I'm not sure how that works with the credits. But I know that this studio is capable of making something at least a little bit more interesting in the visual department. Because despite me not liking Book of Life as much as everybody else, it still at least looked interesting. But maybe that has something to do with the art direction. Which in this case, the 2D animated prologue is just better than the entire movie. So yeah, that's Rock Dog. It's very lackluster, very bland, just very unimpressive overall. So if you've seen Rock Dog, tell me down in the comments, and I'll see you next time. Bye.